two shot. I know you guys uh, dealt with a lot of guys out during the week of practice, um, and you also didn't have Jordan. Uh, is that all of what went wrong in the first half for you guys offensively, or, or even with all that, you think you guys should have played better in the first half? Um, hey, Ira, um, I think we should have played better. Um, we, uh, college football is when somebody goes down, next man up, you know, and um, it shouldn't be that big of a difference, you know, in the in the drop. So I think we just got to play better football. We got to do a better job of executing um, the plays that are called. Hey, Ira, Coach Jordan here. Uh, can you walk us through uh, the touchdown reception? I guess your vantage point we saw with McKenzie and what he did to kind of scramble and, and get open and then uh, – yeah, how you were able to kind of dive and make the play. I just got to walk us through the whole sequence if you can, please. Hey, Brendan. Um, yeah, so uh, that that play wasn't called up like that. Uh, I had a route on the opposite side of the football field. And um, Coach Novell says all the time, let your effort make the difference in the game, you know. And um, there were two guys I was fighting. I seen McKenzie. He's, he's, he, they, had, they couldn't take him to the ground, you know. So I seen him running back there. And I wanted to get in his vision so he could see me. So, you know, I kind of sprinted across the field. And he saw me. And he put it up and gave me a chance to make a play on it. So, Credit to McKenzie, man. I, all the things that guy's gone through, man. Um, he's fought back from everything, man. He's still resilient, and he, and he still, you know, have faith in the man above, man. And I'm blessed to be able to play with a guy like that. Hey, Keyshawn. Uh, Jay Sean said there's not a drop off at all between Jordan and McKenzie. Mm -hmm. is, is there a different feel though, or a rhythm for when one of those guys is playing quarterback versus the other? For you guys, at least on the perimeter. Yeah, you doing? Um, no, sir, because, you know, um, all off season we work with both quarterbacks. You know, all preseason camp, we work with both quarterbacks. So I definitely don't feel like it's a drop off um, in the chemistry with uh, either, either quarterback. My job is to catch the football, no matter if it's coming from, it don't matter who it's coming from, you know, and um, that's my job. And so that, that's all I have to say with that. And you guys, uh, on that, also on that drive, you had that, uh, the completion before we got hit because you were cashing it. Mm. Um, I guess just how important did you feel like it was to make that catch in that situation? Um, I, f I feel like that that catch was important, but I feel like every catch is important. Um, just being consistent for my quarterbacks, you know, um, when they throw the ball to six, just knowing that, you know, it's my ball and nobody's ball, you know, and that's something that I've been working through, you know, and, and getting better at. Um, but yeah, um, just being consistent, you know, and, and whenever my number's called, just taking advantage of the opportunity is something that I just pride myself on. Hey, Keyshawn, Coach Jordan here. Uh, the importance of, of effort. I understand asking this that, that six losses isn't what you guys want right now, but mm -hmm. uh, the ability to keep fighting, to keep playing hard, is that something that you see consistently still from, from this team at this point in the season? Absolutely. And I tell, all the guys, tell the guys all the time, you know, remember your why. You know, why did you come to Florida State? Why are you playing football? You know, because when times get hard, that's what's, that's what's going to keep you going. You know, I have a passion for the game and love for the game. You know, I want to be a legend, so that's what keep me going when it's hard for me. You know, so I, I challenge other guys to, you know, know your why, and, and, and that's what's going to carry you, you know, when it's, when it's hard times. But as far as going to work, man, we'll we back at it tomorrow. You know, um, we're going to get back up if God says the same and, and come back to work. Keyshawn, you guys have a big game this week, obviously with rival Miami. What does this game mean for you guys? And, and, and uh, records aside, how important is this game for it? Um, man, if anybody has to get anybody hyped up for this game, they should not be playing at Florida State. You know, this is the reason you come to Florida State and playing games like this. So, um, I'm looking forward to it, man. Um, I haven't beat them, but uh, it's a new year, so I'm looking forward to them. And I'm ready to go to work and, and uh, game plan for them. Seems pretty consistently like you've responded a lot this year. It's definitely not been a, a team that that's ever looked remotely like it was giving up. Are you especially proud of that fight after the week you all have had with the bug and everything you kind of had to play through? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, like you said, we did, we had a few guys that were out this week, um, but um, there's no more victories and win and uh, losses. You know. Um, we lost the game, you know, and you know, although we did fight to the end, we still lost, and and that's something we gotta we gotta work on. Is, is finishing to the to the end, you know, to the clock is all zeros. So, um, like I mentioned, just coming back to practice tomorrow, man. I'm a, I'm a big guy, and it's about work. It's about getting better, you know. You get better through the work, through the experience, through the preparation. So, um, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to work tomorrow. 
Sean, with those three wins in a row, it, it seemed as though maybe this team, this program had turned a corner. Mm. Did you feel that way at all? And, and how do you, what will you lean on to keep confidence high uh, down these last three games? Absolutely. I've, uh, through those three wins, you know, our, our team was, we were we were feeling good. We were feeling really good. You know, after starting off, obviously, uh, 0 and 4, um, we were feeling really good. But uh, to keep going, man, we just have to, like I said, just keep believing and um, keep believing in what the coaches are teaching us every day. Um, keep being consistent. Keep having a, a good mindset. Coming to practice um, and uplifting guys around you. You know, if a guy dragging, you know, tell him let's go, man. And that's the kind of message I tell the guys all the time, especially in my room. You know, even if I'm dragging, you know, let's go, Key. We need you. You know, what I'm saying that's and that's what's going to keep these guys up and keep these guys going. But like I mentioned before, as long as you guys know their why, we're back at it tomorrow. We're working. We're going to plan around Miami. And like I said, nobody should be, nobody should have to get anybody hyped for this game. We know what comes with it, and um, we, we're going to prepare for them. Thank you, Keyshawn. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.